Hello there and welcome to this workshop, the three most common causes of jaw tension, clenching and pain. How to understand your pain and to stop going around in circles. So we're going to spend the next 40 minutes or so going through these three most common causes and I really hope that you get some value from this. So in this workshop, I'm going to show you the three key things that are causing your clenching, grinding, jaw pain and headaches. And by the end of our time together, you're going to have a better understanding of your pain. So wherever you're watching this, I would encourage you to turn off all of your distractions. So put your phone on silent, close the door, uh, close some the tabs on your computer and just really give yourself uh, this bit of time to really invest in yourself and your knowledge about what is going on for you and, and the symptoms that you're getting. So we're going to start off with a bit of a demonstration and something that you can do on yourself, um, which is really fun. So I'm going to be talking about a muscle that causes a lot of pain. So this muscle is called upper trapezius and the diagram that I'm showing you here is the whole trapezius muscle. You see it has these four sides here, which is why it's called trapezius, but we're actually interested in this upper portion. So it's the portion that connects to the base of the skull here and comes out and connects to the shoulder. And I'll be explaining a bit more about exactly what trigger points are later on but just know for now that this muscle here is known to be the one that holds the most trigger points in the whole body and not only that it actually refers trigger points elsewhere so trigger points start in one area and then they actually spread to other areas and one of the key areas that this muscle actually causes trigger points in is the jaw so don't get too um, bogged down by that at the moment, because I'm going to be explaining that a bit later on. But I really want you to understand why this muscle is really relevant. And it, whenever I work with um, any client that's experiencing problems in their head, then this is the starting place. Because if we don't sort out this problem, then the problems will just keep coming back. So we always start here. So this image was actually created by doctors um, uh, practicing back in the 50s and the 60s. And one of those doctors was called Janet Traval. And she was interestingly, actually the personal doctor to JFK. And she treated him with trigger point work to help alleviate um, the back pain that he had. And when he was sort of made to be president, he actually moved her into the White House with him in order to continue with this treatment. So she was the kind of uh, the forefront or at the forefront of this sort of new discovery in anatomy sort of 60 or so years ago. And she published a book that and this image is from that book. And it actually shows a mapping, a mapping out of all of the trigger point patterns in the body. And again, we're going to talk about trigger points a bit more in a moment, but I just wanted to do, you to see this image so that you can just really see how, see where these X's are here. That's the muscle itself. The problem isn't felt there. The problem is felt with this feeling going up the neck, which might feel like a stiff neck. And then this feeling going round their heads and really coming together in this big pain just above the eye. Or sometimes it's felt just slightly further towards the eye here. So that's a real headache feeling and it might even feel like a migraine and it's usually on one side of your head. And then it also, as you can see, this red sort of patch here. So it also causes pain in the jaw as well, comes from this muscle. So what I'd really like you to do is have a go at finding that on yourself. So I'm just going to come back on the uh, camera here so that I can, um, sorry, I just need to make myself a bit, a bit bigger here so that you can see me better. Okay. 
hopefully that's okay. All right, so um, what I'm going to be showing you is where to find this muscle on yourself. So if you have a look at um, your shoulder here, so between your neck and your shoulder, and just pick a side, so pick your left or pick your right. So if you're getting problems on one side, then pick that side. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter for now. This this is good. If if they're both the same, then just pick either side. It's fine. And what you're going to do is that side that you've chosen, you're just going to take your elbow and you're going to rest it on the table. If you're sitting at a table, if you're sitting on the sofa, you can actually put that elbow on the arm of the sofa. Just rest it somewhere because we want this muscle to be relaxed and not working. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the other hand. So I'm on my left side here. So I'm taking my right hand here and you're just going to take your thumb and your two fingers. And then you're going to, you can work, I'm going to work on my skin, but you can work over clothes if it's, you know, just a t-shirt or something like that. And you're going to come over and you're going to put the, your thumb at the front. So if you find your collarbone, mine's here, and just come in front of that. And then you're going to take your two fingers behind. And then with your elbow still resting, you're just going to pick that muscle up and give it a squeeze. So see if you can actually do that on yourself. So I'm quite close to my neck here, as you can see, and I'll just sort of move around a bit so you, you can perhaps see a bit better how I'm picking it up and squeezing it. Now, if that muscle is quite hard, then you might find you're not able to pick it up like I can. You might find that you're just sort of putting your fingers into that area and it might quite feel quite hard and quite solid, which is OK. Then what I'd like you to do is just come out slightly. So we're going with tracing the path of the muscle. So you're just going to come out slightly and then you're going to do the same again. So your thumb at the front and your fingers at the back. And then you're just going to give it a squeeze and see how it feels. And just going to be there for sort of 20 seconds or so. And the reason that we're doing this is partly sort of investigation to see how this area feels. And it's also partly um, treatment itself. So by compressing the muscle for 20 seconds or so and releasing it, we're actually giving that, um, that area some treatment, which by uh, what is called trigger point therapy. And then you should just be able to get one more place before that muscle kind of feeds into the shoulder. So give that a go. So thumb at the front, fingers at the back and just squeezing quite close to the shoulder now. And as long as you're here between your neck uh, and your shoulder, then you, you know that you're in the right place, even if you're not able to actually pick that up, that muscle up quite as well as I could. So carry on. If you just carry on with that and you can go over that same area again and treat each point there for sort of 10 to 10 to 20 seconds. And whilst you're doing that, then I just want you to know that you're in the right place with this workshop today. So if you feel that you're clenching and you're grinding or you're being in pain, it's distracting you from being present from your children or present with your work. You know, if you feel like your quality of life has really been affected by this um, pain and these symptoms that you're getting, then I just want you to know that today you are in the right place for that. If you feel that you don't want to use painkillers to keep getting through the day, perhaps that's weighing on your mind, then you are in the right place today. And you're in the right place if you feel that you are busy and that you, know, you don't feel like yourself and, you know, people need you and you're doing a lot for other people and you just feel like you just a zapped of energy from sort of dealing with these symptoms and everything else that life throws at you as well. So what would be great if you if you could tell me in the comments, so whether you're on uh, Zoom or if you're on Facebook or YouTube right now, then just let me know in the comments which of these applies to you or perhaps it's something different. So perhaps is it the clenching or grinding and being in pain is distracting you from being present with your children and with your work? If you don't want to use painkillers to get through the day, if that's on your mind, if you're busy 
and you and people need you and your energy is suffering and you just don't feel like yourself then uh, let me know in the comments and I might not get to them right now but I will be coming back and reading them so I'd really love to see to see what you've written there and I also just want you to know that no matter what your reason is for showing up that today I am here for you and here to support you so just about a bit about me um so I have three children and they're a little bit older than in this photo here but it's difficult to get us all together for a, for a picture I love being in nature and I've always in, been interested in health and well-being having previously to this work been in the natural cosmetics industry and five years ago I began my quest to become a massage therapist largely driven by wanting results for my own jaw pain and my own headaches that I was getting but here's what I really want you to know. So in 2018, I was told that I had TMJ disorder. I had some jaw pain at the time. But let me tell you, the headaches were just unreal. I went on to learn about the things that I'm going to be showing you um, in this workshop today. And then I suddenly realized that after implementing them, that I didn't have jaw pain and the headaches were a lot less than what they were. So after working with jaw pain and headaches in my clinic as a specialist area and truly getting life changing results for people, which was really sort of amazing for me because I knew what these people had been through. Uh, that was when COVID happened. And it was then that I really worked out that people can be taught how to do these techniques on themselves. Um, and that's really what where this all came from was that. You know, you don't necessarily need an outside person to be doing this to you. It's actually something you can learn for yourself and you can learn to do it on yourself, which is what I did to myself. And I think there's just something really empowering about that. So what I'd really like to ask you is, can you imagine what it would feel like to have significantly less pain? So you'd be able to live every day to the maximum with your family to be able to plan and feel confident, you can just show up as your best self, because I've been in the place where I couldn't do that. And I really I know what that feels like. Learning how muscle dysfunction and trigger points causes pain is really crucial to getting your life back. If you are in pain, it is the single most important thing that you can do for your health right now. So if you're like me, then you like to know uh, what's going on and what the plan is. This is what we're going to be covering for the rest of our time together. So we're first of all going to be looking at how trigger points cause pain and tension. And then we're going to look at how connective tissue causes pulling on the jaw and the head. And then how posture is relevant to all of this. Then I'll be giving you the chance to work with me. And then we'll have some time for questions and answers at the end. Or um, if we run out of time, you just pop them in the comments and I can come back to you. So the first thing, as promised, I'd like to really talk to you about is how trigger points cause pain and tension. And this is a really big one. So I'd really love it if you could take a look at this pain pattern. And what I mean by pain pattern is the red marks on this image. So the again, the X's mark out where the muscle is, which is, you know, no big deal really. But the pain pattern here is just incredible. So do you see just from this muscle here, having these things called trigger points, actually the pain can be felt in so many other places. So I'm using this one as an example because it really does show just how impactful these trigger points are on the body so this muscle here that's actually marked with x's is called the sternocleidomastoid or scm for short and it's got kind of two layers to it which is why there are two images but we can we can just treat them as the same thing for now so trigger points in this muscle can cause as you can these red patterns and as you can see there's quite a strong red mark just right in front of the ear there right at the jaw joint 
And then that pain can, doesn't always, but it can always also go across the forehead to sort of above the eye there. So that's really a, another kind of migraine style headache. Um, it can also cause this headache at the back of the head here. If you ever get that, that's quite common with, with my clients. Um, and then if we look at this other image and you can see how this muscle can actually refer pain into the ear. So some people actually feel like they um, have an ear infection or they even even I've had clients who felt like they have had hearing loss. Um, and it's turned out to be this SCM muscle that's actually causing the problems in the ear. So if you get ear ringing, then this muscle can cause that as well. And also just this pain going across the forehead. So if you get a headache that goes right across your forehead area, then it could well be coming from this SCM muscle. So let's just take it back a bit and think about what trigger points are. So trigger points are a um, bits of muscle fiber that I've got knitted together and they have got stuck. So if you imagine there's um, when a muscle contracts, the fibers actually join together. Well, trigger points form when those, those fibers don't release again. And then you get this kind of what we might know as a knot in a muscle and then other fibers can kind of draw into that and, and make the situation worse. But it's quite common to think about having knots, you know, in our back or in our shoulders, perhaps. But actually, we can get trigger points in all sorts of muscles, including the muscles that are actually in our jaw, even the teeny tiny muscles. And as we saw just now, the key thing to understand about trigger points and the symptoms or pain that you might be having is that trigger points actually refer pain elsewhere in the body. So it's not just um, the problems where the trigger points are. In fact, it's often not. The pain is felt elsewhere in the body. So that's really key to understanding trigger points. And they can also cause what's known as autonomic phenomena. And that could be things like ear ringing, like tinnitus, and eye tearing, perhaps, if you're prone to your eye, te eye tearing or one side. Um, other things I've come across in practice has been a stuffy nose, uh, dizziness or vertigo, um, sort of nervy type sensations. And that's quite um, distinctive to this SCM muscle, is some of the, the problems that this SCM muscle can cause. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, I'll go as quick as I can, and I'm going to show you some um, trigger point pain patterns taken from that book that I mentioned earlier. And I'd really love to know which one resonates with you the most. So let me know in the comments, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube or Zoom, and I'll be coming back afterwards, circling back to have a look at what you put off at the end. So if this one resonates with you, then just put number one in the comments. So perhaps you get a headache on one side and you get that stiff neck feeling up and around. And perhaps you get that headache sort of around your eye area, along with a bit of jaw pain as well. If this one resonates with you, so that pain, that jaw pain and that pain kind of going around your eye and that pain at the back of the head there, then let me know in the comments number two. Well, this one, this is a new one for us, which is a headache that goes around your head. And sometimes people say it's almost like having a vice on your head. You know, you feel really, um, your head feels really tight and restricted. Then put a number three in the comments if that one really resonates with you. And number four, so this, this might be a little bit difficult to see, especially if you're on your phone. Um, but this is pain just, just quite localized around the jaw area, perhaps the ear as well. And also just that pain in the teeth, that referred pain into the teeth there. So if you get pain around the jaw, um, into your ear, or any pain in your teeth, then write number four in the comments. And uh, number five is quite similar, but it's more like the pain's coming out towards the cheekbone, as you can see there. So that's number five. 
Or number six, some ear pain and that headache that goes across the forehead there. And perhaps you're only getting one of those. It doesn't have to be both. So just let me know whether it's a one, two, three, four, five, or six. I'd love to know. And it can be more than one. So it's very common to have more than more than one. So you can write one, more than one number. That is absolutely fine. And just while you're you're doing that in the comments there, I'll just let you know about um, Elaine. So one of my clients who had headaches on one side of her head. She had pain in her jaw on the same side as well, but the headaches were really the worst for her. Um, and the trigger point work that I taught her to do actually stops stop the headaches and stop the pain. And, you know, she was really amazed by that. And really, what I'd really like you to know is, you know, like Elaine wasn't just a number or just a name. She was a lady who had two children. So she had a two year old and a fairly young, sort of almost newborn baby. And, you know, she had got to the point where often she was just trying to get through the day because her headaches were that bad. And actually being her actually being able to live her life more fully and to be able to actually enjoy her days and not just be constantly trying to get through the day. I think that's just so important. It's not always about the pain that we're feeling. It often is about the way that affects the quality of the life that we're living. And, you know, we only get this one life to live. And I just think it's really important for us to have as much of quality of that life as possible. So that's really why I wanted to share that story with you. So we're going to move on now to secret number two. And we're going to be talking about how connective tissue causes pulling on the jaw and on the head. And what I'm really talking about here is this connective tissue, which is called fascia. And you may or may not have heard of it. If you've if you've sort of done up done some yoga in the past, then perhaps this is familiar to you and um, because it's sort of spoken a lot in the yoga world. But if this is new, that's totally fine. I'm going to be taking you through the basics of understanding what fascia is and how it affects pain. So fascia is connective tissue. It connects everything together and um, actually it's what we're made from when we're an embryo and they actually what is what develops into the body as we grow. But if that blows your mind a little too much, then just know that fascia connects everything to everything. So it connects muscles to tendons, to bones, to ligaments. It runs around our organs, including our brains. So really relevant for headaches. And it gives things structure and form. So basically, without it, we'd just be a blob on the floor. It's what defines a different muscle from another muscle and an organ from, you know, the surrounding tissue. And I like to think of it a bit like these, a bit like an orange. So if you imagine that an orange, you kind of have the skin on the outside, and then when you peel it, you have that sort of white pith layer. Um, that's a bit like the fascia, as we have fascia under our skin. And then when you get into the segments, there is this thinner white material that actually separates the segments from each other. And then if you have a look at an individual segment, you can actually see the white, the white bits going through the segments there. And that's a bit like how fascia just envelopes our whole body and runs through our whole body. So it was for until sort of fairly recently, maybe 50 years ago or so, that um, fascia was just irrelevant and wasn't important. But we're just beginning to understand this. This is really kind of groundbreaking anatomy that we're talking about here. So fascia has many layers and those layers should be able to nicely glide along each other. They should be lubricated and there should be a lot of movement but sometimes it can get stuck together. So um, those layers can be sort of become quite dried out, perhaps through overuse or posture or things like that. We're gonna to come to the, to the causes a bit later. 
but just know that the fascia can get stuck. And you might know this, say in your neck, if you have trouble moving your neck, if you haven't got a great range of motion of your neck, then it could be that the fascia there just doesn't move as nicely as we'd like it to. And when this happens, when we get stuck, it actually creates pulling through big chains, um, groups of muscles and structures. So this image has come from Tom Meyer's book, Anatomy Trains, who was really at the forefront of bringing, um, bringing to our attention that everything is joined together. And he, he did and he does um, do a lot of dissections. And he was really able to see as he dissected um, bodies, how these structures were all joined together through the body. And this one represents the deep front line. And it gets quite complicated as we go through. But what I really want you to understand from this is that if you can see it, and I know this must be really small for you if you're on a phone, but the jaw muscles, so that big muscle at the top there, which is called the temporalis and the masseter, they're actually really connected through this fascia connection to the neck, down the front of the neck and the side of the neck. And that's what's really relevant here. So if you imagine that we were just talking about fascia getting stuck and having restrictions, if you have that in the side of your neck, which many of us do without, you know, the side of our neck is something that we don't really think about too much. Most of us don't. Um, but you'll know that it's a problem if you've got a limited amount of movement there. So if you have problems there at the side of your neck, that can really cause this pulling down through the muscles of the jaw. And that can lead to a lot of things. It can lead to a lot of tension in those jaw muscles because that pressure on them means that they can't work properly and it can lead to a lot of pain and it can even lead to um, this, the joint not being as regular as we'd like, to, like it to be. And then also, um, so this is another image from Tom Meyer's book and this is the superficial back line. So I just wanted to talk about headaches for a second. And you see how this fascia from the head comes all the way over and it connects to the back of the neck here. So we're going to talk a bit a bit more about this in the next section. But if we have restrictions in the back of the neck here, which many of us do, and we'll be talking about the causes soon, this can actually create a pulling all the way over the head and down, which can really lead to, to quite major headaches. And that could be one sided or it can be both sides. So what I'd really like to know is, does this concept of fascia and pulling make some sense to you? Are you with me here? You don't need a full understanding, but just an awareness of this concept is enough. So if that's the case, then just let me know yes in the comments so I can know that we're on the same page here. So we're going to move on now to secret number three. And what I'd really like to share with you is how posture is so relevant in these type of conditions. So how we hold ourselves on our day to day creates these muscle patterns. So really how we hold our body, um, our body, our body will adapt to the way that we hold it and creates these patterns that we repeat throughout time. So in our Western culture, it's quite common for us all to have our shoulders sort of rounded quite forward, um, whether we're working at a desk or we're on our phones or we are stressed or anxious because being feeling stressed or anxious, the body often feels like it's under threat. And so we like to bring our shoulders forward in order to protect the vital organs here. So we usually don't realize that we're doing this. And then what happens is if our shoulders come forward, then the neck and the head really has no choice but to come with it. So I just thought I'd show you this image. This isn't this is quite a regular sort of posture, really. But you can see how the heads of this lady isn't in line with the spine. So that can create a huge strain on our neck muscles here. So the head actually weighs five kilos. So that's five bags of sugar. It's really heavy. And we rely on um, the rest of our body to help support the head. So our spine, through to our hips, our legs, even down to our feet, 
all of that is designed to support this head that is really heavy. But when over time, so we're talking, we could be talking 10 years or longer here. If our heads are brought forwards, then actually that's a lot of strain on our neck and all of that five kilos, well, or most of it, is being supported by those muscles on our neck. And we've already spoken about um, trigger points in the, the neck and how trigger points can form. Well, a lot of that comes from muscle dysfunction and muscle overuse. So if you think about the position of your head, the chances are that those muscles have been being overused for a long, long time now um, because they've been trying to hold your head up. And those muscles tend to not be able to do their job properly if they've been overworked. So that's really explains sort of how or why posture is relevant when it comes to forming trigger points. So basically the the muscles are overworked because of the head position and this can lead them to create trigger points and knots and problems. And then those trigger points, as we saw earlier, refer pain up into the head and the jaw. But there's another thing as well, because we spoke, we spoke about fascia earlier. So having our heads forward also causes thickening of the neck fascia. So the body is really helpful to us here. And if we hold our, our shoulders and our head forward for a significant amount of time, then the brain kind of thinks, oh, OK, uh, you need to be in that position to live your life. I'm going to help you. And so it tries to support us and help us. So what it does is it lays down um, fas extra fascia. So it lays down extra fascia on the neck um, to help support the head. It's a bit like uh, scaffolding, really, to help hold the head up. And this, so this fascia that we've got on our neck gets thicker, but which is great because it's going to help hold our head up. But that can actually talk, cause some of that restriction and pulling that we spoke about with fascia. So the more layers there, the more likely there is to be sort of immobility and restriction there, which can then create that pulling through those layers. Um, and, you know, for example, the side of the neck, that pulling can come down through the jaw. So I just wanted to check in with whether you recognize that forward head posture in your own body. So let me know in the comments if you do. I would love to hear that. And I'll be going back over at the end and checking in on everybody. So I just wanted to tell you about my client, Amelia. So um, she stopped grinding her teeth at night and her jaw stopped hurting within six weeks of us working together. And the reason why I really wanted to tell you this story is because Amelia is in her, her 20s. And before she saw me, I know it's different in the US, but in the UK, we go through this this kind of um, system where either the doctor or a dentist can refer you to a consultant at the hospital. So she'd been to see her dentist about the pain that she was getting in her jaw and her clenching and her grinding. And then she'd been referred to the hospital so prior to meeting with me for six months or so, she was waiting for this hospital appointment. And I think it's fair to say that she really put a lot on this appointment. She was kind of waiting for it to come round and feeling like, yes, this is going to be like a really good solution for me. And, you know, I'm going to get this fixed when I go to, to this, um, this appointment here. So um, she went for the appointment and... Unfortunately for her, she was told that there was nothing that they could do for her. They couldn't see anything structurally wrong. And she would just have to cope by rubbing ibuprofen gel into her jaw. And luckily, she found me afterwards and we started working together. But, you know, it just makes me think that this was someone in her 20s. She was really focused on her, her career and her studies and and she was just sort of setting out in the world, really. And just to be told that she had to live with that for potentially the rest of her life, you know, just really sort of, you know, I just feel really upset when I hear those stories that 
that people aren't being educated enough in the way that we can actually relieve pain and relieve chronic pain. And, you know, just being told to rub some gel into your face just, um, I don't know, just feels really sort of um, just not enough. You know, I just feel like in these sort of situations, people are just often just not given enough, which is why I really wanted to create this workshop today to just help you um, see that, that there are other causes of pain that people aren't talking about. Okay, so I've got a question for you now. Would you like me to teach you how to significantly reduce your pain, clenching or grinding? If you are here today, then you have two options. You can stay where you are now or you can follow a proven roadmap to reduce your pain. And I'd like to take this time to invite you to my online program, which is called Beat the Grind, How to Heal Jaw Pain, Tension and heavy Headaches. The evidence-based path from frustration as nothing really helps to more energy, a lot less pain and your life back. This is the only course of its kind, giving you the exact self-care routine that you need to effectively get out of pain, meaning that you can get your energy back, feel like yourself again, and be able to show up for your family how you want to. Plus, once you know the techniques that I'm going to teach you, you know them for life. So I'm going to spend just a bit of time talking to you about how this works. So this is an online program and it lasts for six weeks. We're actually starting really soon. We start on Monday, the 23rd, and the doors to this program actually close on Thursday, which is the, so Thursday, the 19th of January, which is really soon now. And so we start on Monday, it runs for six weeks. And during that time, I'm going to be taking you through the step by step process that I use to get clients out of pain. And I'm going to be showing you how to use those techniques on yourself. So each week we meet on Zoom as a group. But if you can't make the live lessons, that's no problem at all, because they'll be recorded for you and available for you to watch any time that suits you. So each week I'll be going in depth in the Zoom showing you how to work on your muscles to get yourself out of pain or as I said you can just catch the recording in your own time as part of this this six-week program you also have exclusive audio only relaxation exercises which are specifically for jaw tension and headaches for whenever you need them so let me just take a second to explain a bit further how this works so if you sign up today you'll be getting a login to a members area Inside the members area will be some introduction material for you to work and to watch, sorry. And then from next week, there will be an online lesson. So an online Zoom lesson for you to join on Monday, the 23rd of January at 7 p.m. UK time. If you can't make it, it's fine. It's recorded. And every week will carry on like that. So every week there'll be the new Zoom lesson and there'll be a new audio file for you to listen to. And the audio file was really designed for you to listen to as you fall asleep, or you can use it in the day if you want to have a break and a lay down. So this is what we'll actually be working on. So we'll be working on releasing trigger points in the shoulders, neck, head and jaw. We'll be mobilizing fascia restrictions that connect to the jaw and cause headaches. We'll be creating new posture habits by opening up certain areas of the body and strengthening other areas. We'll be improving the neuro pathways that can cause grinding and clenching. And we'll be decreasing stress and giving you an effective self care routine to take forward with you. And that's a total value of £597. But don't worry about the price for now, because we're going to come back to that soon. So there'll actually be seven modules of this program. The first is, is the welcome module. So that's available for you to watch today. And then next week will be week one. So next week on Monday, 
we'll be going step by step on how to release trigger points in the shoulders. So as you saw, we started with upper trapezius today, but I'm going to be showing you all of the techniques that you need to um, work on those trigger points and relieve, re relieve referred pain coming from that area. Week two, we're going to be working step by step on how to release the path of the fascia connection at the back of the neck. So if you remember, I showed you how that can be really relevant for headaches. And also the nerve passes through there that feeds the face. So it's really important for us to be able to relieve restrictions in the back of the neck. Week three, we'll be working step by step on how to work trigger points and release fascia in the front, uh, really the front and the side of the neck. So, you know, that SCM area that we spoke about and that pulling of the jaw that we spoke about. And week four, we'll be putting everything together. I'll be showing you some more advanced techniques in that session because you'll be really getting to grips with this work by them. And we'll also be working on creating better posture habits. Week five is when we finally start working on the jaw. So it's really important we get this work done before we move on to the jaw, because otherwise the problem is just going to keep coming back. So we're going to be working on releasing tension and soothing the fascia and working on the trigger points of the big muscles of the jaw. And then week six, you'll be an expert by then. So we're going to go in depth in the jaw. So this will include working on the muscles inside of your mouth um, to release those. And um, we'll be working on deeper structures and also the function of the jaw. And then at the end, we get to celebrate because you did it and you got to the end and you would have significantly reduced your pain levels. So what you get if you sign up today, you get access to that course, Beat the Grind, How to Heal Jaw Tension, Jaw Pain and Headaches, which will be run over the next six weeks. But you actually get lifetime access. So you're going to be able to download those videos and keep them for as long as you want to. So if ever you need to come back to any of this or, you know, if something happens and you miss a week and you need to catch up, that that's fine. Like, no, your access will not, it's not going to be taken away. But you also get access to me through a private Facebook group. So I'll be there to cheer you on, to answer your questions and just be giving you extra bonus material as we go through the six weeks together. And just um, really checking in on your support and your mental well-being. You know, I'll be I'll be in that group every day, Monday to Friday, supporting you. And I just really wanted to know that, you know, I'm not special. These are techniques that I've implemented on myself. I don't have this uh, lifestyle that is full of holidays and coffee dates and things like that. I have a busy life like you. I have children. I have my work. And I put this roadmap together because I know what's important to implement and when. And when you're on limited hours per day and everyone else needs you, I know that you don't really need the fluff and the things that don't work. So I've spent a great deal of time just really weeding this down to the things that are really important and the things that you need to actually get you out of pain because like you I I do not have a lot of time so uh, there's one other thing that I'm going to throw in as well so you get that those seven modules of beat the grind how to heal jaw tension jaw pain and headaches you get the bonus of access to me through a private Facebook group and then you get a second bonus, which is a mini course on acupressure for jaw pain and headaches. So this is a separate little course that sits uh, alongside the main course. And that one's actually available right now. So you can access that. As soon as you sign up, you can access that mini course and start implementing acupressure into your day. Acupressure, by the way, is a bit, a bit like acupuncture but it's without the needles. So it works on the meridians of the body and the energy lines of your body. And I'm going to be showing you in that course some key acupressure points that you can treat yourself at home. And I'd like you to know that you have a money back guarantee. So if you sign up today and you change your mind within seven days, I will give you your money back, no questions asked. So just a summary of what you get if you sign up today. You get the complete Beat the Grind, How to Heal Jaw Tension, Jaw Pain and Headaches course. You get the bonus of access to a private Facebook group, which will run for the whole 
um, well, it'll run for around eight weeks because I want to make sure if you're a little bit behind, you've still got some time in there with the group with me. And you've also got access to the second bonus, which is that mini course for acupressure for jaw pain and headaches. And that's actually valued at a total of £841. Now, I know that £841 is totally worth it for this because this is a this material will transform your life and improve your quality of life. And that's really something that money can't buy. But I also know that a lot of people don't have £841 at the moment and that times have been tough over the last few years. So I've really just squashed that down as much as I can. And the price that you, you get this for today is £197. So that's £197. And you can you can pay that in one go or you can make free payments of £73. And if you'd like to enrol, then here's the details, the wellnessformula.co.uk forward slash yes. Um, I'm also just going to pop the link in the comments for you as well so that and and I'll add it to the post so you can just click the link to save you having to type all of that in. And here's what will happen when you sign up. So if you uh, follow that link uh, in the comments, you'll come to this page here. And if you just scroll down on that page, then you'll find the options that you can choose from the free, the free payments or the one time payment. And then you'll be just taken to this page where you can just quickly fill in your details. And then you'll check your emails and you'll be given a login which will be a, you know the email address you sign up with and a password so you follow the follow the link and you sign in once you're signed in then you'll find you have this course here this one at the top beat the grind how to beat jaw tension jaw pain and headaches so you click on that and that will take you into what I was referring to to earlier as the members area so you've got the welcome material waiting for you there and then each week will have its own module and that will consist of a short introduction the main content which will be that hour session on zoom once it's finished it'll be uploaded here for you and then your weekly relaxation audio and some people are in already um and they they're skipped ahead a little bit and they've already been listening to this relaxation audio file and they're finding it really incredible. So I'm really um, so happy to, to hear that, that people have started actually implementing this right now. They couldn't wait until Monday to start. So just to remind that again, so um, beat the grind, how to heal jaw tension, jaw pain and headaches, free payments of £79 or one payment of £197. And just while you check out that link, I just wanted to remind you of why you're here. So perhaps you're here because the headaches are driving you crazy because you know you can't be at your best. And I know many of you are mums here and I know from experience there can be huge amounts of guilt with that when you're just not able to function at your best or be present at your best. Or maybe you have pain in your jaw area that you can't work out how to fix and you've tried other methods and routes and it just hasn't worked for you. Maybe the clenching or grinding of your teeth has got worse and you don't know what to do about it. All other things haven't helped. Perhaps that's your reason for being here today. And, you know, I'm aware that maybe you have doubts about signing up for this. So I just wanted to address those here. So will this work for me? It's probably the, the question that you're asking yourself. Well, what I want to share with you is that no matter what sort of issues you have going on with your jaw and your headache, with a few exceptions, which I am going to cover in a minute, then there will likely be some muscular dysfunction going on. For most people that I see, that is the only issue that they have, that there's these trigger points and there's this muscular dysfunction going on. Of course, there can be other issues as well, sort of structural issues and things like that. But even if you have that, say if you have um, uh, arthritis or any of those type of type of inflammatory conditions, then in my experience, there is always 
um, muscle and fascia restrictions and pain as well. So we're looking to significantly reduce that pain by doing this work together. But what is important for me to just quickly point out here are some people that I don't want to sign up for this. So if this is you, then please just reach out by message to me and I'll speak to you there. But if you have a um, if you have a new headache that you haven't had before and you haven't had that checked out by the doctors, then I want you to message me before before you sign up or go and check have it checked out medically. If you um, have had significant impact to your head or your jaw and you haven't had that checked out, then I'd like you to do that and um, let me know how that goes. But right now, this this won't be for you. If you've had have any unexplained weight loss, then I don't want you to sign up right now. And if you have any tingling or numbness in both of your hands or your fingers, that's um, there a lot of the time or permanently, and you haven't that had that checked out, then I want you to go and check it that checked out first. Um, yeah, or any other any other sort of complicated medical history that you might have, then just send me a quick message on Facebook or by email, and I can actually um, speak to you a bit more personally about it. That then, but you need to do it really soon because the doors to this close in sort of just over twenty four hours. Um, so another another thing that you might have doubt about is that you don't have time. Well, you know, I know a lot about chronic pain. I've made it my life to study this and I've lived with it. I could talk about it for days. But as I said earlier, I'm a busy person too. And I know that what you need is the most relevant information delivered you, to you in a short time. So just taking this hour a week would feel amazing for you. And which is why I've made the other material just an audio file that you can listen to as you go to sleep, because that's really easy to implement. And you might have doubts, um, I'm not available to make it to the live lessons. Well, we've already covered that, that that's totally fine and the recordings will be available to you. So here's just a reminder of where you can go from here. There's the link there for you. I'd really like you to see this, to be a part of this course. I'd really like you to actually take this step for yourself and your own, your own self-care. And I just want to finish, we're going to finish in the next few minutes by just saying that, well, firstly, thank you for spending this time with me today. I really hope that I see you on the other side and that next week you'll be in with me in the Facebook group. Uh, you'll be either on the Zoom or watching the recording because I know that um, how effective these techniques are. But more than that, I know how it how it feels to feel empowered over your own self-care and I think with the traditional medical system that is really what's missing is that feeling of empowerment and I really want to give that to you by teaching you these techniques so uh, please reach out to me if you have any questions if there's any questions in the chat that I haven't got to then I will either answer them there or I'll send you a quick dm to answer but just thank you for taking this time with me today. It's been lovely to have you here.